Um, I've got like a half hour left before I want to end the stream. Um, I've done all the maps though with Hunter's DPS. I guess I'll just do this one again because I can. Or you know what? Let's do um, let's do oily and Fisher stuff. Like let's go. Let's do a build with oil and fishers. Spiders climbing up the wall. It's a little baby one though. If I wasn't streaming, I'd throw it outside. Um, oh, it's not a baby one. It's just not a big one. But I don't want to like get up and do that right now. Wait. I don't. I need health. I think I want to go vamp on the uh, harpoon and put it behind the wall. So I might unequip my uh, cannonball. We go like an old guys here, like the start of the Fisher set and at the end. If I'm gonna do this, then I think I might want to not do the lane here. <sighs> I don't play it. I have it installed, and I just never got around to playing it because this patch came out. I'm just going to do like a backwards facing uh, harpoon down there. Today, I have a lava DPS today, but I'm going to do Huntress for the oil flask. You and Fisher. Um, it's such a waste though, like so much... So much fire. But where could I set up a harpoon here? That would make sense. Maybe two. I could do one like up here, move the wall around. You're having hella issues with building because no range shard? Jonah man. I've been the game without a single range shard. I believe you can do it too. Believe in the me that believes in you. That was your old setup, Lava Floor? Wasn't that everyone's setup? Because fishes are OP. Once everyone learned that fishes were OP. Okay, my problem here is that I want my harpoons level. And if I. But I want long lanes as well. I can't get a long lane here without having this drop, but if I have this drop, I can't really get level for this lane. Um, so I guess I have to be either short lane, or not the greatest level playing field here. I might... I might do it down here though, because I could put like a harpoon here. There's no bosses, so I don't have to worry about like long reach in this lane hitting the harpoon too much. And I can put it here because it is still steps. Why are fishes OP? Giant range, basically. And decent damage, and they stack. You'll find a way to make flame mores good after a patch. Yo, just talk to Zimmerman, he's using them everywhere already. No, I don't know if he'd say they're good or not. I might like I might actually just build this lane like right here. Just to have that long enough. What I can do is I can put this like here. To get some overlap as well. Because that covers all down here. Get rid of this. The only problem is stuff will like sit here, but I think it could be okay. But now we'll have some Fisher stacking to help these lanes out. These iffy lanes now have Fisher stacking to make them less iffy. Let's see, um, Cringe Champ. 
Oh yeah, that's right. I had this on it. Do I want to go this or health? I think I want to go medallion. So let's take out the... I, I don't like to do this. Let's take out the medallion from the cannonballs. Uh, which ones? Like here or... You mean over there? I didn't check leaf proof. Let me do that. Place at least one oil somewhere. I'm gonna do... My idea is to do... Yeah, that's pretty bad. To... Oh, no, it's okay. It's to do two oil guys. There's one at the start of the fissure and one on the walls. You wanna see my fissure ascension points? Uh, full damage. Full gambit. And then crit. What did I get? I didn't even check this. Construction, Snake Bomb. I have that. Empowered Beam, I've got a couple. God, I'm selling everything. Wordles? Excuse me? So these... I want... Destruction... Maybe Destruction Vamp? And, um... No, I can't remember where my Vamp went. Because I had one available somewhere, right? And I took it off something and put it somewhere else. Where's my vamp, guys? 20 in speed? If you got speed from... Well, first off... Uh, fishers don't gain everything from speed. If you're using speed on a relic, though, for anything else, it's not really worth it. 20 points in speed is 200. And you get what? Like... You get 4200 from this relic. That's not even a max relic. Another 200 speed on that, considering there's soft caps to defenses and diminishing returns, just isn't worth it. Compared to the regular scaling, full defense power, attack damage stuff. Uh, this? No. This. No, wait. Green with the yellow corners. Hey, it's on something. For the sand trap, um, speed and crit. You don't need health. You don't even need like any ascension health. You'll never go through. You'll, you'll almost certainly not go through 50 charges of a sand trap in a map. My apprentice towers have horns. Because they're baller as fuck. They're not wasted like Luderu. The earlier you are into the game, the more important that is. And 200 points on something you wouldn't go speed in anyways might be useful. Especially if you're doing multi-builders where... Like, multiple towers on one hero. Because that's speed for all your towers, right? And maybe you didn't want speed on that tower as a stat. Like on the uh, relic. Uh, 200 points could be useful. But like... The later you get, you know, the more flat speed you get from a relic, like that 200 impact is less and less percent wise. So, okay. What did I use recently that would have vamp? Obelisk is the first one, but I took it off the obelisk for something, right? No, I didn't. I took stun off it, so here we go. Vamp and... Oily. I don't necessarily think this is the best way to do them. I just... I don't know. think it's a way to do them. You want to do a huge run about how the apprentice magic is based off the old arcane teachings and the old gods of arcane were all horned demons. <laughs> 200 medals down the drain to respec. Hey, if you want to respec, that's up to you. But yeah, I mean, like, I haven't respec a lot of them since I came to that realization. I don't think I'm really that bad off for it. 200 points is what, like? Tw two, I mean, well, how much is 200 or 20 points? Sorry, 
of Ascension into the defense power. It goes up 20 each time, so that's only 400. 20 points for 20 each, that's 400 defense power, right? Actually, 400 defense power is pretty good. Am I getting that right? Is It goes up 20, 20 points, yeah, okay. That's actually kind of sizable. I never wasted Defender Medals on that, such a waste of farming time. <laughs> Yo, not everyone has money, dude. You finally got your gun, which nice. Is more worth than respec? Yeah, I mean, respecing is what? 200? 200 is... 8 maps? Can you level up a hero to 50 in under 8 maps? If yes, better than respec. If not, Respect's better. I don't like this spot because, like, I want it in line with the middle of these. But, uh, whatever. I, I think I'm going to do, like, double wall here, though. I'm also going to turn it like this. So it's not going to, like, try to shoot the wrong things and fail at it, just because like they might be closer. Well, LFK C1 farm, yeah, but how many C1 runs it is? It's, it's just an economy question, right? Like, if you can get to level 50 in any chaos tier, whatever you can do. I guess C1 is the bottom line, right? If you can get to level 50 in seven C1 maps, then it beats it. And I don't I don't know all the math. What am I doing? Let's just put it like here. Oh yeah, javelin tosses. Let's do it like that. Further back. There we go. So that's one ballista per lane, right? Next, let's do two geysers per lane. One there, one on the walls for berserks. Yeah, look at this. So, check this out. Trip range. Trip range? Trip range. Trip range? That's not the damage radius, the outer one, by the way. That is not 900 range. Like, 900 is just bigger than base sand trap range, and that's much smaller than base. So, I think this is the new trip range. I think it was always the case like on inspect pre-trials where it actually gave you two values for trip range and I don't know what that meant. Maybe it was like slow versus diminishing return slow though. I don't know. So because you can do four heroes at once if you have multiple respects you want to do, that's true. If it's more than one then it's almost certainly better to do... I mean up to, it might even be, maybe not four at the same time. Because he will probably... Well, if he can AFK. Yeah, part of the same time. If it's more than one, absolutely. Re uh, remake. That's true as well, Lude, actually. I didn't think about that. You're both saving medals and... You're not using medals and you're earning medals while also leveling up. I didn't think of that. Two damage radius for erupt in normal? Uh maybe. Maybe. I'll have to I'd have to test that. Well no, it, that's not that can't be the damage radius at all. So one one is maybe trip and the other one's uh well actually what is probably what you gotta be thinking now. Is that one's probably the trip radius and one's um erupt radius, erupt effect radius. And it doesn't show you it's regular damage radius, because 900 is bigger than that. What is your favorite hero pre-patch have, and what is the change in the new update? Mystic was... Mystic was my favorite pre-patch, and it might still be my favorite.
you halt ascension progression though by doing what we're talking about with um, all that stuff with uh, creating new heroes because you don't really, right? Oh, with four, you don't get any ascension with four. Okay, so then do three at a time. If ascension's also an important factor, but ascension isn't always an important factor in that. The not spending versus earning and not spending and all that, I think. But if we're not, if we're all we're talking about is the Fender Metal gain, I think you can leave Ascension out of it. But if you care, absolutely just do three. It's definitely worth. Okay, so that's all the geysers. I need to do two Sky Guards, and I think that might be it. We'll see what the DU is like. Yeah, that's only another 20, or uh, 40, I mean, total. Um, did I fill out everything I need to fill out? No. So one more oil guys are here on the wall. And then probably a snake oil if I don't have anything else that I missed. And we'll see if this works. It's actually kind of really lacking, but maybe it'll be fine. Like, the biggest problem with this is that Sure, the Ignite scaling, or the Ignite scaling on or the Harper is great. But I'm not getting them at the start. But I still feel like I need it behind the wall, because I need that damage on the wall area. Three Mystic Hunters and a Squire. Yo. A third Mystic Hunters and a Squire, yeah. Yo, I kind of want more Mystics just so I could do that Hobbless shit from earlier. But it's so cheesy I don't want to. I'll have to test it actually now. I, I'm going to place probably this oil geyser. I don't know how you said this when I got you to test, but I don't remember what I asked you to do, Ralph. I'm going to place like these oil geysers next to a dummy at the max range that I'm indicating there and see if the uh, erupt damage hits it. Yo, don't break up the Terraria weapons again. Trendy did say for a long time not to worry about and just play. Or, like, just take what you got and play the game. Didn't realize how true that was until the patch came out. Um. Oh, God. I'm going to place it up there, and it'll hopefully shoot below a bit as well. I don't know where I really want a DPS. I don't actually think this is a good build. Like, or this is, like, my challenge build today. If I'm going to do one challenge build, this is it. Right? I don't know if it'll reach below, it might. Someone should test if a range shard works on these. It should. I would put a range shard on this. Can Mystic do Burst or is she crowd control type? I can, with my crit, my HP crit and ability power build, Kirokibo, I can throw my, my dagger, my number three, crits for like one mil damage. So, it's got a little bit of burst. How about that? It sustains like 700k DPS on a dummy doing that-ish. The dagger can hit for 1 mil at a 40% crit chance, I think. It seems like your base DPS is high. Also, I mean, I guess I have stuns on these, and I have stuns on the walls. I don't have my cannonballs to take uh, big guys off of me. Loco, please, don't be like Bronx. Thanks for telling that to the bot, but I'd also like to know. <laughs> yeah, Snick, uh, Rage Shard would be nice. Have you tried Rage Shard on it, Ralphair? Does Rage Shard affect the attack rate? I assume it doesn't. And I think I might have had someone check that for me before as well. What is that? 32 or 62? Wait, 32 and 62 are from the thing. What's the Ignite doing? Is it only 22? No, that's the snake. 
Yo, ignite damage? Actually, that might be the oil geyser ignite that looks so small. I want to see the harpoon ignite. Oh god, I almost got knocked off. No, screw these guys. I don't have a- wait, your rain shard is my rain shard? I don't have a rain shard. Please. You have- you have one of them. I don't remember what everyone has and doesn't have. Come on, man. Come on, man. I can't remember everyone's shardage. You're lucky enough I remember all your names. That's not to be mean, like... I just have a bad memory. And over here. I mean, like, it wasn't the worst. 14 kills, 31. 18? Remember names? Wait, are you. Are you supposed to have your name pronounced Yoda Man? Making a lot more sense to me right now. Did I do this, uh, little guy here? Yes. Lol, you suck. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. Yep. So maybe Oil Geyser's Ignite's bad, because it doesn't look very good. Like, is that 11k? 5k? I'm seeing all those numbers in there. And then I don't think like the oil guys ever tells you it's scaling. Like the harpoon's great. The oil flask is great. The only way to really check this I think is to get like berserk orcs or assassins here. No, bosses. That's what I need to do. I need to... I need to do this on bosses. Aw, oh, he poofed. He fucking poofed. Thirty-two, no, that's the thing. Thirty-six? I can I can calculate it too. I just want to make sure. Fifty something? Eighty-nine. Forty-nine. God, I don't know what all the numbers are on other things to check. Fifty-three, sixty-twos, that's crits, eighty-fives. Is it eighty-five? I think it might be eighty-five. Joe Deman, okay. You miss having two monitors? Yeah, it's pretty sweet, eh? Okay. What are my harpoons doing? I. And if that was like, if that 5k was actually the oil geysers uh, ignite, I would not use oil geysers for the ignite combo. That's so bad. I really hope I was wrong on that, though. But that's the only damage I could really see in there. Um, I'm looking for Cringe Champ. There you are. The 600% of its defense power. And, okay, so... 
I mean, that's 6k. That's 6k unless Vamp and Destruction actually do something, which... I mean, I had someone come into chat once and give me a very sound argument for them actually comboing, like affecting other shards and stuff. I'm not convinced. Approximately 60k. Uh, what is this picture? Show me your stuff. Oh god, that's so big. Hey, girl. Alright, let's see how the other lanes fare, because those are the ones I wasn't in. Obviously. I need to see how they held up on their own. Actually, like, not that bad over here. Okay, I want to see how much this gets. It's doing... 54k? 64 went up 10k damage. Eh. I think I'd rather just do the, uh, Ballistas. Boss is an Ogre. Actually, I probably should do the walls over there since there's an ogre going to that side. Anything other than... Panic, Fire, Hype. Yo! Panic, Fire is actually alright. Don't knock Panic, Fire. <laughs> it's alright, it's okay. Um... This one took more damage. I think all I need is one to distract the ogre, though, if the other one goes down. I really just hope this doesn't get smacked. I'd leave this lane to fight over there, but I'd like the heal orbs. Alright, the problem with that... Okay, yeah, I get it. I get it. Where is that fucking harpoon going? Yeah, 62k. That might be the crit or that might be the harpoon. 50 some. Or that might I mean that might be the harpoon or it might be um the fisher critting. Cuz yeah, fisher actually would be 62. Ah! Get off me, you jerks! I'm gonna die, yeah. I have a feeling I'm not gonna win this one. Would I switch my power transfer to vamp on my fishers? Yeah, probably. I'd rather the flat damage from vamp than the chance to crit, like, damage that's based on a percent chance to happen, you know? I think the scaling's the same, right? I guess the only difference is I'm gaining crit damage from a primary stat versus gaining um, defense power from a secondary stat in that case. So I'd have to do the math, but I think it's still probably better to go vamp instead. Get off me. I'm gonna lose that lane. Oh my god, it's probably... Was it Vanguards? Fucking Vanguards in C5. <sighs> I'm, um... I'm all kinds of upset right now. I'm gonna blame that on the vanguards. Like... 
ruining my day. All the walls tier three. If I can. You don't even own campaign shards anymore? Jeez, dude. Some of them are actually good. Oh, you don't even open. Sorry. I am I mean, I'm over six hours now. You gotta give me a break. Long stream. Yeah, I was selling them, but then I realized I wanted a few more, like, destructions in my inventory, so I've been opening them. But I think I'm gonna start selling them again. Very soon. Got a roller. Some sort of skelly. Charges used. Oh, did I repair this when I meant to repair a wall? Probably. Yeah, I mean, it, it went through 37 and only had 8 to refill. I made you check if you misspelled it. Ha, made you look. Okay, there's no vanguards here. There's no vanguards there. Okay, it's just my lane. Where's... Okay, but there's things there. So I need to start over there, run back to my lane, kill the vanguards. Just use fishes with your setup, they're broken as hell. Yeah, dude, just fisher stack. Fisher stack with like a frosty tower, even without frosty power, is just a win on any map right now. Honestly, even without it, you could probably just fisher and wall. Repair walls or something. So I need to come back here. I don't know, like, when the vanguards spawn, though. Is it right away? If it's right away, I might be in trouble. Whatever. Not right away, it seems. Oh god! Yo, do I have a knockback shirt? Can I get a, um... That shield trinket from Terraria that eliminates knockback, please? can't do shit. Blaze Balloon hits flyers. Cool. Get off me, you piece of crap. I don't care. If it died, I don't care. Oh my god, the build up down below. Get off me. Okay, down below is fine. Back to here. Woo!
I don't think I'm gaining on it in terms of repair, so let's just kill it. Now! Woo! <laughs> Fuck this build. I lost the Ballista too. Yeah. Over here. What hit it? I mean, all that was left was a Skelly. Did it really punch through? I think it was just a Skelly. So did I fill out this ascension? Yeah, it's actually pretty okay. That's the boss, the fucking roller. Malthus and an ogre. I have a feeling I'm not gonna win this one. We'll see how it goes. I might do some hero swapping. The vanguards didn't end up being a problem, I didn't even notice them. I guess they just got fissured uh, fast enough. This lane ended up being fine though. And it's an easy one down there. You're over there, Vanguard is in my lane again. You, repair you. We can do this. We just have to believe. Oh god, is this a Kellyan? Oh, fuck off. If he can hit my thing through there. I can't cast. Fuck it, I'd rather win. Also, let's just make myself able to cast. That ogre needs to die. That thing doesn't matter. I don't care if the sky guy's down. Gonna repair that one, go over here, grab some health. I don't need both those walls to stay. Oh my god. I can't fucking do the turn. A stupid bug. Go, go, go. Mana back. And one, and one more. No, I missed the second one. There we go. Whew! Got it. I can't unhear Fisher and Fisher. Send help. Fisher? I hardly even know her. Let's go side, you're the best you can do it. Thanks. Wish every character had double jump. I'd love a shard for your boost as double jump. The payoff, or the trade off is. If you're using a shard for double jump, that's one other DPS shard you can put in. Makes sense, right? Come on, Trendy. Also, wings for the chest. 